An important mark on the road to Paris, just 100 days out now from the Summer Olympics. And of course, Channel 3 is the proud home of the Summer Olympic Games. Oh, we cannot wait. So now most people know a huge part of French culture is the cuisine. And we knew the perfect person to help us prepare for some Parisian flavor this summer. Yeah, who else to turn to but our very own intrepid reporter, Mike Polk Jr. Socle bleu! Only a hundred days remain until the Paris Olympics, and I still remain embarrassingly ignorant of the French culture. That's why I met up with Arnold Pasquet, the president of a French cultural club that's been here in Cleveland for over a hundred years. And according to Monsieur President, there's no better way to feel French than to dine like them. They take great pride in their culinary history and the food that they have. So we held our summit here in Shaker Square at Edwin's, which is not only one of the area's premier French restaurants, but also has a unique program that gives formerly incarcerated adults a foundation in the culinary world through training. Edwin's founder, Chef Brandon Krastowski, was kind enough to give me a crash course in French cuisine that was worthy of a gold medal. Thank you for having us. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Why don't you tell us what we have here? And this is a French classic escargot. All of our, our snails come from Burgundy. Over here we have the uh, frog legs. We put them in a brine for about 12 minutes and then fried two different types of garlic and of course creme brulee. This is the food that we associate with France, but they actually do eat this there. This all, all the time. All, all the time. time. Okay. And of course, no celebration is complete without a little apéritif. Pastis. This is traditional uh, drink in France. It's interesting. We have patio, you have a little pastis, you have a little bit of chartreuse and tonic, you have your, your cheese nibble, escargot. Dude, you're in Paris. Coming from an admitted place of ignorance, I have no idea how to approach or, or try this food. Yeah, I mean, the escargot just come in here. You know, a big part of this is that, that butter and garlic, and then you just, you know, just kind of give it a roll. You know? Nice, and I'm good. Yeah, That's okay. amazing. And frog leg, you know, we can um, we could do like this. Or however That's what I'm asking because I shouldn't go at this like I'm at the winking lizard eating chicken wings. I should uh, you should do it like use utensils. Mm. The frog leg was fantastic. The escargot is transcendent. Now it's time for the dessert. There is a pleasure in kind of breaking that little sugar up. The, the sound's fantastic too. But wait, apparently the French dining experience is not complete until they wheel out a cheese board the size of a pool table. My kind of people. This is the, the land of cheese, right? First one is a Poisse, cow's milk cheese here from Burgundy. Very like ham-like, meaty. You had me at ham-like cheese. A very classic of, uh, of France. This is Morbier. You'll find they have like a little underlying funkiness to it. That's how I describe myself on Tinder. 100 days to the Olympics. You try different cheese every day. You are probably the two biggest French aficionados definitely that I know in the greater Cleveland area. And I appreciate the education so much. How would we say uh, 100 days, um, good luck? Sonjour Santé. Sonjour Santé. Sonjour Santé. USA, USA, you. <laughs> I thought it might catch up.